Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Farjana. Welcome to my another WooCommerce tutorial. In this video, I will show you how you can create this kind of variation swatches for our variable product. By default, when we create any variable product and we add some attribute and values, it shows like this way as a drop down. For all kind of attribute, we can see the same view as drop down. And definitely, it's not so much user friendly. So in this tutorial, I will show you how you can create different kind of variation swatches. Like here, I will show you how you can create color button and also the image type button and also the button with any text. And now if I click on the color variation, like when I click on the red, our image is changing. That's cool. For this tutorial, I'm going to use a free plugin and using this free plugin, we can create this kind of cool advanced swatches for our variable product. And these variation swatches buttons are fully customizable. So far you see, if you think this tutorial adds some value to you, please give this video a big thumbs up, otherwise you may not find this kind of valuable tutorial next time. And if you are new here, like to see my more upcoming videos. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. Alright, now without any further ado, let's get started. Alright, first I am going to install a plugin. So going to plugin and add new. And here I am searching for variation swatches. And we will find several plugins. From here I am going to installing this one variation swatches for e-commerce. And by Imran Ahmed, I am going to install and going to activate and now i'm going to products and going to attributes first i'm going to create some attributes for example here our attribute can be color can be size can be brand name or anything for our variable product so i'm typing color and you can leave it then type from here we can select three kind of attribute like this can be color we can select any image type or this can be button type so this is color and we can leave it then add attribute and then going to create another one site and type this time i'm selecting button and attribute and we can create another one which can be for image so for example i'm taking brand and type image so in the similar way we can create more attribute and now i'm going to set some specific value for this attribute for example for color i'm going to configure terms and here i'm setting the color to black and from here we can select specific color and add new color and in the similar way going to add red and orange then going back and in the similar way going to set some attribute name for brand and site going to configure terms for site here we can type the full name or the short name. So this name will show with our button type. Then for large, we can type only L size. And another one small or extra large XL. For a small, we can set it only s and now going for another one setting some value for brand and typing nike and here i'm going to upload the logo or image for this brand add new brand and also another one for example adidas
all right now I'm going to create a variable product so going to add new and here for example demo variable product and here I'm going to add some dummy info and if I scroll down here we have to set the product data so by default this is simple I'm setting it to the variable product and now if I go to attributes and here if I select we can see these three kind of attribute is showing first I'm selecting the color and going to add I'm selecting the values this is black and red we can select also another one and also enabling used for variation then save attribute also going to add another one for brand select values adidas and also the nike used for variation saved attribute and also the another one size selecting value large and small or you can add the extra large for now i'm just taking two values for each one then used for variation and save attribute all right then going for the next step variations and from here we can create a specific variation like a specific color and a specific size or we can create all possible variation which we have so I'm going to create from all attribute and go click on OK here eight variations added so it's taking all color and brand name and also the sizes and created all possible variations now I'm going to upload some images for each of the variation for the first one this is black so here I'm going to upload some image for shoes so going to upload black shoes I'm taking this one and we can fill all this information for this specific variation for now I'm only selecting the price I'm selecting 100 for this variation and in the similar way setting images for all others I'm taking this same black shoes and we can set the price to a different one here the price will be for small and brand will be adidas so here we can set a different price and also similar for this one black for all black color i'm using the same image and also for red color using another one all right i have added all these images for each variation and finally save changes and from top area we can set a default values for this product so by default i'm taking the black color and brand the nike and also the size we can set the small and save changes also here short description i'm going to add some dummy info and also we can upload the product image and in product gallery we can upload some other images all right for now i'm done and going to publish now if i go to view product so we can see all the variation is showing here and all is showing in a nice boxed way so now if i change the color to red you can see the image is changing and also the price is changing to 140 and also if I change the brand we can see the price is changing and for the color image is changing all right and finally if we want to customize all these button style button size text size and when you hover over each button we can see here is a tooltip with the name so we can customize all these from our dashboard if i go to the dashboard and we will find the options swatches so here we will find some more customization options enable tooltip we can make it on or off then enable style sheet shape style by default this is square we can make it to rounded i'm changing it to rounded 
and now if I refresh so now we can see all the button is now in circle shape and also we will find more options like here is auto drop down to button by default all this variation option like size color all this will show in a drop down mode so it's now working as a button and now if I go to advanced we will find some more advanced option like here we can change the image size we can change the width and height and also the font size for now I'm leaving all this as default and from here you can check all other options if you want to customize it all right so that's all for today if you find this tutorial helpful give this video a big thumbs up otherwise you may not find this kind of valuable tutorial next time and if you are new here like to see my more upcoming videos don't forget to subscribe my channel and finally if you like to work with me for any wordpress project you can contact me through my website Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.